What's going on guys? Rock Doc here. I wanted to make a quick video about uh, some work I've been doing on my Troy built pony lawn mower here, lawn tractor. Uh, there she is right there. It's an older model. Uh, I picked it up on Facebook for about 350 bucks. Uh, it's been working great for me. Um, it's got the 17 horsepower motor, 36 inch deck, probably 42 inch deck. And, um, you know, I changed the oil on it, put in a new plug, a couple little things like that. And it's been running great. Had no problems. And then to this morning, I try to start it and I would turn the key and I would get nothing. Just like that. Nothing. Now, the reason I'm not getting anything right now is because I don't have all my safety switches on. So I made sure that everything was in the right positions. Right. You got a safety switch right there. You can see it open up when the seat's being depressed. So that has to be open. So you gotta have someone in the seat. Right below here is another button that makes sure that the PTO cable is, in, is disengaged. You cannot have the PTO cable engaged or you will not get power to the starter. And then finally, there's a little button right under there, right there that depresses when you push in the brake. And that also has to be fully depressed in order to get power to the starter. So I made sure that all those were pressed in, everything looked good, and I was getting nothing. No clicking, no nothing. Not a sound. So the first thing I did was I attached a jumper cable. I took it from the positive terminal on the battery, right there, and I ran it to the positive terminal on the starter motor which is right here you can see a little burn marks on there right it was sparking I started to get the motor to turn so that told me that the starter motor was good so the next thing I did was I checked that there's this little fuse back here let's see if we can get it that's back there somewhere anyway yeah right here there's a little fuse right there in the back I checked that that was good and so finally what I diagnosed the problem was that the starter solenoid was the problem the starter solenoid is gonna be these two screws right here you see one wire two wires coming out of there starter solenoid looks like this so it sits in there just like that. You can see the bracket of the new one there. And this is the old one. Um, I'll show you the part number and everything here in a second. Uh, the positive terminal comes in here on your right, the negative on your left, and it has a one pin that attaches to another small cable. So they call it a three terminal solenoid. I went to Lowe's and I picked up myself one that I'm gonna grab the box from right now and I picked it up at Lowe's um, it's by Troy Bill MTD um, it's a four terminal solenoid and so it's got one extra terminal post it's it looks just like that little tab that I showed you and that little terminal post is comes with a little bit of an extra wire that allows you to convert essentially uh, uh, what used to be a three terminal to a four terminal. And so that's what it looks like there. There's a part number. Uh, it's $12 or so. And on the back, it tells you that if you have a old solenoid and only had one wire, you install the jumper wire to the other small terminal and connect to the round end of the jumper to the bolt on the mounting bracket of the solenoid. And so that's what I did. I hooked it up, put everything back together, and because it had one extra pin right here, it came with a jumper cable. And so I used that jumper cable, and that's why if you look at mine and possibly look at yours, I've got two wires going to this pin right here, this bolt grounding two different wires that's this is the jumper up here and this is the original ground that was coming with it everything bolted back together nicely you got to remove the battery 
to get in there I found that I could actually reach my hand one hand underneath and then one hand coming in over the top it's very awkward you're kind of bear hugging the back of the mower but that way I could hold the solenoid while I was undoing the positive and negative terminals obviously I had the battery out so uh, I could get in there um, took just a few minutes um, 12 bucks at Lowe's or 13 bucks at Lowe's and saved me a whole bunch of work and now you make sure everything is in the right position close everything up sit on her PTO cable is disengaged engage the brake and right up so save yourself some money uh, if you test and your starter motors working and everything seems to be working it's probably a starter solenoid and uh, grab it at Lowe's and, and and get yourself up repaired all right have a good one guys